Ah, and everything damn. about this vehicle is custom built. The way that it looks, the way it operates, the instruments on it, everything is custom built Wait, by what us. In the damn, what, what they need all that for, bro? Wait, looks, the way it I'm operates, shoot the, the tornado. <laughs> trying to take out the tornado. We're here to end all tornadoes. <laughs> this is going to nuke the tornado. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. <laughs> we got a tactical new game coming. <laughs> this is about to nuke the tornado. We're going to get this motherfucker out of We've here. We've had it. We've We're had sick it. of your kind. <laughs> What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Doug. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right, we're gonna check out the Dominator 3 Tornado Tank Ultimate Tour. Now, I think recently we checked out a video uh, about a storm chaser getting a little bit too close to some tornadoes. I was crying. But we're Life. gonna check out, uh, I'm guessing someone showing like those modified vehicles where they um, essentially try to make the uh, vehicle as heavy as possible to capture the inside of a tornado which is very fucking dangerous and uh also so we they wanna... stay in it yeah 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 that's why it's heavily modified got it so, bro. um but uh we that's also want to send our you know well wishes to everyone that's being affected by the storms that happened in chicago they yeah. were dealing with uh, apparently 25 tornadoes in two days which is that's unheard of man insanity so prayers out to y'all man Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are good and safe out there to all the people that are from Chicago. They're rock with us. Hey, we we got y'all in our prayers, man. So Oh no, for sure. You notice how many <clears throat> tornado um conversations have been since that new Twister movie was coming out? <laughs> it's all part of their plan. That's a Hell, we promo. just we just recently had a tornado before the hurricane. Like in Houston. That's some crazy promo. Promo. Mother Nature I'm saying, out like, here. Come check out my movies, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, y'all think shit's sweet. <laughs> it's fucking We stupid. only laugh because we actually just experienced this ourselves. Even with the hurricane, I think we had a couple tornadoes around us uh, during the hurricane. <clears throat> so just it's just ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, <throat> let's let's see how extra ridiculous they are for even building this. The inside of a tornado. Only five research papers in history have data from in here. And that's why we built this monster. God, and everything damn. about this vehicle is custom built. The way that it looks, the way it operates, the instruments on it, everything is custom built Wait, by what us. In the damn, what, what they need all that for, bro? Wait, looks, the way it I'm operates, the, the tornado. <laughs> trying to take out the tornado. We're here to end all tornadoes. This thing is going to nuke the tornado. That is crazy, bro. <laughs> We got a tactical new game coming. <laughs> Things about to nuke the tornado. We gonna get this motherfucker out of We've here. We've had it. We've We're had sick it. of your kind. <laughs> hey man, that's wild, bro. Inside it, everything is custom built by us. Five, four, three. This is oh. real life Twister. This is the most capable storm chasing vehicle on the planet. This is the Dominator Three. Where's the one and two? And as you can see, there's plenty of space for sponsors. Probably <clears throat> behind them. Plenty of space. To swap. study the inside of tornadoes, Ooh. you can't set up a lab and expect one to come through. So the best way is to build a lab on wheels and park the gear in the path. I bet you That's they won't wild. do that no F5. But if the powerful winds get underneath a vehicle, this can happen. A flip. So that's why we've got this Person, skirt okay. on the bottom here. This skirting has been added across the entire base of the outer armor, and that mm. prevents wind from getting underneath the vehicle. But right here, you can see that there's some space where the wind can get underneath. Yep. This is the height that we drive down the highway, but when we get in the path of a tornado, we have a system that lowers the vehicle and drives spikes into the ground. Uh, and we're going to show you that outside in a second. Oh, yeah, it's this down. method, and the rocket system will also show you that have the highest success rate. So up here, check this out. This UAV is the victim incoming. of the real problem of a tornado. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, Whoa. Flying debris. Yeah. So this is heavy duty plastic. And this was shattered and snapped off by a juniper tree inside that last tornado we intercepted. So that leads us to the armor system on the Dominator 3. This is three quarter inch steel. And this is what the Damn. shell of the Dominator 3 is made of. 
and we've covered that with this rough surface right here. Oh, the Elon Musk. This uh, is a Kevlar-based polyethylene, basically a bulletproof vest for the Dominator 3, and anything just bounces Damn. right off. Woo! <laughs> okay. And over here, protecting the lights, is a quarter-inch polycarbonate Throw a plastic track the trailer that's at also it. bulletproof. <laughs> I'll be convinced. And the Dominator 3 has a double window system. We have an inner and an outer one for dual protection from flying debris. So this is a polycarbonate windshield. And look closely and you can see all these little dents. Those are from pebbles moving at speeds of over 150 miles an hour inside of the tornado. Now I'm going to show you how tough this stuff is. Swing. <laughs> Swing it. Bah. Bah, yeah. Bah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, who's putting this out loud? That's right. tough. <laughs> well, Lav is doing the Harlem shake. Dominator tough. <laughs> Tornadoes All do some these, weird like, things. Weird the pun pauses. Helps to verify and guide other researchers' computer models. And that's why we want to maximize our chances of getting great footage. So that's why we've redesigned the entire back end of Dominator 3 and coated every square inch of it with polycarbonate plastic so that you can see up at the tornado, Pause you can see all angles of the tornado in front. It's the name that keep getting me. <laughs> Dominator 3. <laughs> this nigga dominating tornadoes, huh? Huh? Just shooting dominating, it right in, huh? Shooting it right in, man. Those tornadoes don't stand a damn chance. They didn't ask for it. They didn't consent. <laughs> the tornadoes definitely didn't consent. They being <laughs> dominated by the third version of it. That's wild, bro. It's because you want to find out what's inside. Yeah, man. Well, that's Come not on. your choice. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> sick. Dominator sick. Progress and capture that very valuable high resolution footage. We can also pop the back open, and there's plenty of room for our scientific gear, including our rockets, which I'm going to show you shortly. All right, also, flicky. plenty of room that, for adult bro. diapers, underwear. <laughs> but under here, these are Damn. the muscle and cardio systems of the Dominator 3. When we talk about raising and lowering the vehicle, this is what makes that happen. <sighs> Listen to him purr. And yeah, if you go from the air compressors mm. and follow these lines up here, <clears throat> they go up to our door system. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, all right, my boy. Uh, okay, pull it up with the, the wings. Oh shit. Pull up to the to the to the the science convention with the dominator. Yeah, we was in a tornado. Yeah, we was in the F3 last night. Um <laughs> uh, you see the you see the you don't actually you don't see. <laughs> None of the debris damage, you feel me? Because this thing don't take no damage. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? nuke it. still going to survive. <laughs> These doors weigh 800 pounds with all the armor. So if you Ooh. look up here, we've got this complex valve system yeah, to support this to the that car weight. Meat. And to help you push them open from the inside. Whoa. All right, dog. The Dominator. It ain't helping the name, dog. Dominator be coming with some toys, huh? <laughs> Easy access. Easy. The studs with <laughs> dog. This is their vehicle of choice. The studs. Land, you stupid. Dub must really hate F fives. If you do, <laughs> the studs would love this vehicle, bro. Would they? Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> they might differ on that. Yeah, that's our lift system. That helps lift he the laughing. heavy weight of the door. <laughs> <he> know what? <laughs> Bro, this laugh. Wow. <laughs> and these gall wing doors aren't just for looks. So when we're close to a tornado, we need to look at the sky. Oh, I got a one and two back when you're there. up close to a tornado, mm -hmm. you're very near the hail core. And you can easily get a softball-sized hailstone coming through the sky and hit oh. you in the head. Oh. So these doors... Oh, Size of his hand, bro. Bro, that would destroy your vehicle, your windshield, everything, oh, yeah. bro. And if you outside in that, you could potentially get seriously hurt or die from that, bro. The speeds that them damn hell uh, coming at you. CTE. Doors That's raise tough. up, and they give us added protection from overhead. While the doors open, you can see the original truck door here, and then you can see all the armor we've added on the outside. Damn. Very thick. 
Another oh. advantage of the gull wing door huh. system on the Dominator 3 is it fixes a big problem that we found out with the Dominator 1 and 2. So imagine mm. you're out chasing a storm with Team Dominator and you're out looking at a tornado and you have to hop in the Dominator fast. All right, we gotta go, guys, we gotta go. Oh no, Whoa. look at that, we can't go. You actually oh. can't shut the front door until the back one is closed. It's because oh. of how all the heavy armor fits together. So the people in the back might be out panicking, maybe they're going to the bathroom, but this is a big problem right here. All but of y'all getting fixed. cooked. Hey, going to the bathroom, nigga, you supposed to go before we go out chasing these damn tornadoes. Get your ass up in this damn. I ain't gonna need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll leave your ass, you better get your ass up in Hey, hell! <laughs> we'll remember you! Sorry. You better get in the Dominator 1. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dominator 3 with the gall wing lift system. Pinch it off. We got to go. And the last thing before we jump in is I'm going to show you the engine underneath all this. Okay, what squeak, we working squeak. With? Goes the Dominator 3. So the whole reinforced what? hood of the Dominator 3 comes forward like this, giving us a look at the powerful engine inside. This is a 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine, mm -hmm. and this is what drives the 10,000 pound Dominator 3 Ooh. at highway speeds of over 70 miles an hour. 10,000 pounds. And we can also accelerate very fast. If we have to run from a tornado that's too powerful to intercept, this power stroke engine gives us the pick me up to get oh, out no, of the hard too spot. Powerful. And not believe for the it or dominator. not, this thing. Oh, the Dominator is supposed to be able to handle that. It's supposed yeah. to dominate that. Why well, run from it? We run towards it, right? Right. Right? And we stand our ground. Yeah, y'all ain't dominating if you're running from it. Come yeah. on, man. Come it's on, y'all. the better. opposite of dominating, right? Yeah, man. You being dominated by the tornado. <laughs> Fucking F5-0. You think you, you going to dominate me? <laughs> Instead of dominate her, dominate it. <laughs> Facts. Gets about 16 to 17 miles per gallon on highway speeds. Hey, what? And in case... That's not bad. <clears throat> 16 to 17? That's a lot For a car that weighs that fucking much? It's actually not that fucking bad, bro. That's crazy. That is not bad. Cars used to be back in the day. Yeah. That's we not... need a pit stop. We get a flat tire. We have these protective flaps that we can lift up and access the wheel. Heavy duty tires, of course. Uh -huh. All right, that's let's good. step inside the Dominator 3 and show you how we get our data. Yep, eye contact. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Three, two, one, release. All right, gotta do it at the same time. Probably don't want your fingers to get smashed. A Ford. Well, welcome inside the <laughs> cockpit of Dominator 3. Good to have you. Kind of a standard F-350 okay. look from the inside. See some cup holders. You can put your Mountain Dew or energy drink right in here. Not the Mountain Dew. You can definitely Dew. see a couple <laughs> things are added. We've got this peak Whoa. of the armor. The peak of the armor on the hood is designed to funnel the wind up and over the top of the vehicle so that you don't get all this debris just slamming into the windshield. And this is where we're putting our updated live streaming panel because yes, we stream live our tornado intercepts and storm chases as it happens. Watch that left edge! Watch that left edge! Looking in the back, you Crazy, can see that we bro. removed the bent seats of the Ford F-350 and replaced it with three additional captain's chairs. We captain. pretty much live inside this vehicle. Comfort is important as well. You guys ready to storm chase? <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the dog. I'm the dog. Why are you bringing me out here? I'm like, bro, I just want to chill. Bro. My kennel at the crib. <laughs> Who Sneaker. said I want to be out here chasing tornadoes with you? Dog sees the clouds getting gray. Like, oh, fuck. Here he goes again. <laughs> here he goes again. I'm going to pretend I'm asleep. Right. <laughs> Come on. We got to go. <laughs> I'm good, bro. You got it. Burr. Poor, Burr. poor dog. <clears throat> Not today. So our research is divided into two modes, intercepts and rocket deployments. Intercepts <laughs> are measurements wild. at the ground level of a tornado with the Dominator. We actually started with super heavy ground probes that we would drop in the path of a tornado. But after having some tornadoes bend away and miss, we decided to turn the whole vehicle into one big probe. That way we uh, can adjust forward and backwards with uh, the tornado right up until the uh, last second. One big probe and go forward and backwards. Uh. Two directions. Yeah. Yeah, man. Dominator. Dominating. Three. So when we get in the path of the tornado and it's bearing Ooh. down on us, I press number one to drop the vehicle flush to the ground. Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo. What? Okay. So now we're flush to the ground, but we want to make sure we're not thrown. So we hit the second switch. So 
So that means it's going to take a while if you just got to get out of there. The spikes going to the ground about six well, or eight inches. It's, and that anchors. You really just going to hope and pray that the, you know, the dominate, dom, you know, dominates when the winds start hitting high speeds. Because once you locked in, you there for the ride. GG's. So that, that tornado, I'm like, oh. Oh, we got a we got a sturdy oh, one, huh? We got one. Okay. Oh, he think we punks. Okay, hold oh. on. Let me... <laughs> he think we can't move this shit. Hey, yo, Tony, let's get this. <laughs> and I show this boy what's good. Not them getting tag teamed by two tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, mugs start coming in. That's what nah. the that's the plot of Twister. Oh, you think this shit sweet, cuz? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, nigga. We got flaming. We got fire tornadoes, cuz. We'll burn about you, that, We about that action, you feel me? <laughs> ...to the ground when the tornado arrives. Then we go to the outer switch. Yep. So we're lowered to the ground. The spikes are in. The windows are up. Now we're in full-blown intercept mode. Intercepting a tornado is one of the most intense experiences of your life. I bet. The winds feel really powerful. So powerful that even the dominator is bouncing up and down. They make this really low roar, oh almost like a freight God. train or a really loud oh. waterfall, like Niagara Falls. Uh, the dramatic pressure fall makes it feel like a lot of weight is on the shoulders. Your eardrums are about to burst out. And it happens really fast. Suddenly the sun is coming out. You see the blue sky. You see the tornado moving off in the distance. And you realize that you survived it. And then suddenly you're overwhelmed with happiness. You realize <laughs> that the diamond. That, that's that white. That's that. Yep, 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 yep. That nigga. Yeah! <laughs> we did it. Hey, hey maybe. Mo. Maybe uh, old dude we was watching that video where he was saying, oh, Jesus. Maybe he should have been in that one, bro. Yeah, he need to invest in the Dominator 3, man. Because that boy was praying. Lord, bro, he was praying, bro. <laughs> Boy, was praying. Oh man, Tater three got its job done, and most importantly, we know that we collected some incredible data from inside of the tornado. But as rare and valuable as that data is, it's from the ground level, just like those four other research papers. Come to the holy grail now mm -hmm. is actually getting data above ground level in the heart of the tornado. It's loaded. only been done once, and Air that's strike. where our rocket research comes in. Team Dominator has spent wow. over 10 years funding different methods trying to get probes inside, but we kept running into one problem. A wall of powerful sinking air surrounding the tornadoes. It would knock our probes out of the sky right before getting inside. But in 2019, we finally settled on a method that would punch through the sinking air. Uh oh. And here is the Team Dominator rocket. Our rocket has two main parts, the rocket itself and this right here. This is the Team Dominator Skyfall sensor, custom made by our science lead, Mark Simpson. We're gonna fit mm. this sensor inside the nose cone, we're gonna attach a parachute on it, and we're gonna get ready for launch. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's wild. We also have a parachute inside of the rocket. Man, this looks like the fireworks we built. Right, we were shooting up. Fourth of July. <laughs> That shit look like, bro. You go to your local fireworks stand, get you some shit, put a chip in it, and yeah. launch that bit. And rename it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Y'all can't tell me that shit don't look like that, All bro. ready to go. So you've got the sensor in the nose cone. We're going to stuff the nose cone on. And now we're ready for launch. To launch a rocket, we need to get in the perfect place of the storm, right in the inflow notch of the supercell. That's where all the wind is flowing in toward the tornado. And we need to be at least a quarter mile away from the vortex. These niggas got a launching sequence. You see the buttons? It's here. There we go. Oh, it's ready. Rockets attached. So this stop right here is what keeps the rocket in place. So we've got the blast plate. Not That's needed too, to plate. give the propulsion necessary to launch. And we have these long rods too, because that stabilizes the flight path early on. And we have the two rocket engines. Now I'm just positioning it Look to connect the igniters to the engine. That's what provides just a little bit of fire in there to ignite the rocket engine. I'm gonna make sure positives on one side and negatives on the other, and He's they don't touch. This is very intense when you know you have an F4 tornado bearing down on you. Yeah, it's gonna stay destroyed like, once. Oh, these niggas is loading got the time rocket. to do that. When there's a tornado bearing on the way, <laughs> and you gotta do it and hurry up so you can get back in <laughs> the Dominator. Bro, that's just oh my, oh my god, bro. That's, you can get that's... hit with a, a ten pound debris ball. 
Oh my god, these niggas have to set the tactical nuke. Of course, am I connected? Now it's ready to go. I know that the red and the black are connected properly because the continuity lights are on. Can you close your hatch? You gotta re stand up and reach out. Oh, they about to just launch it just because. Hey, test All right, we are video. launching in 10, 9, countdown. 8, hey, there we go. 7, are you 6, ready? 5, 4, 3. I think if you don't launch that shit, woo! Who's at 15? Okay, so now the rocket is flying toward the tornado. It punches through the pocket of sinking air around the vortex. And once inside, the nose cone pops off and the parachute deploys, and it's carried around inside the vortex, Woo! just like the movie Twister. And we've got to get after the rocket. I said it. There we go. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. Yeah. It's confirmed, y'all. Yeah. It's confirmed, bro. Yeah. It's confirmed. Maybe we'll see the Dominator in the <laughs> new <laughs> Twister movie. Didn't even launch on time. <laughs> it's confirmed, bro. It's yep. all connected. Yeah, I told you. Promo. So happened we just saw so the promo. This video, too. Mm -hmm. It's getting carried around inside of the tornado. We're immediately getting live data like this. We've got pressure, relative humidity. We've got IMU acceleration. We've got our GPS position. And we even have the data of exactly how the sensor is tumbling around in 3D. But right now, we're only getting live data at one time per second. But we actually have to recover Cena the tornado physical right sensor now. to get the super <laughs> high resolution data. But for the Loris to Linville EF4 tornado, the tornado carried it over 26 miles away from where we launched it. Mark, how, is the rocket in the tornado right now? Uh, I believe so. How but, high is it? 10,000. 10,000? 10, 10,000 feet? Oh, yeah, no, 10,000 meters. Yeah. 30,000 oh. feet, guys. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, the yellow. There it is, right there, the nose cone. Made it that bright yellow color so you can see it easily. See the nose cone and the parachute. Attracted. And that is holding the sensor with the valuable data inside. Hey, get off my property. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You on that damn Dominator 3. <laughs> so here it is. The moment of glory here when you retrieve the nose cone. This contains the high resolution data from inside the tornado, the pressure fall, the wind speed, all that 3D information inside. And it's all contained on the sensor in the nose cone. So we're gonna head back to the Team Dominator headquarters and show you the data right now. So here's the actual data, the GPS positions of the rocket launch that we had into the Linwood EF4 tornado. And these are the first ever data points measured above ground inside of a tornado core flow in history. And oh, so damn. each of these are data points measured at a rate of five times a second. The red is the actual rocket. And so it was going toward the tornado. And then the parachute popped off with the nose cone and the miniaturized sensor. And then it got entrained into the tornado. So if we look from the top, you can see that it did nearly two revolutions around the inside of the tornado. And at the same time, it was measuring a pressure fall. This nigga, these niggas is actually hunting tornadoes. Yes. Yeah. They chase them. We run from them. They chase them. They different. They different. They not like us. I was and looking I'm okay for a bunch that. of clips of them actually in tornadoes. Mm -hmm. Nah, that I would have loved to see that. Over 100 millibars. That's how you know it was inside the core flow millibars. of the tornado. And uh, this probe then rode the mesocyclone up to 30,000 feet ah, before falling damn. to the ground near Leavenworth, Kansas, over 26 miles from the launch site. Woo. And we wouldn't have found the probe if we didn't post a picture of it. That's how we found the probe over 26 mm. miles away from the launch and point. Church, huh? Thank you to Matthew and Jeremy for keeping their eyes open and finding that sensor circle. in the lawn of a church in Leavenworth, Kansas. We're going to be doing another they video and take a jackpot. deeper dive into this first ever data collected above ground inside of a tornado. We're also going to it's talk the about- Chinese, the Russians, the sin. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that's, hey, much power to them. We yeah, wouldn't man. know this information if it wasn't for them risking their lives to get the information. So, yeah, no, hey, for sure, bro. Hey, it, man. It takes somebody doing it and stepping out yeah, on the leg. It does. Um, So that it we can be us. Out. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm good, bro. We wouldn't have gotten far at all. I mean, uh, all I would have heard is some sirens. You know, all right, well, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to get up out of here, bro. No, we got to get in the Dominator. <clears throat> well, y'all can get in the Dominator. Let me know how it goes. And yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, let me know, bro. You know, I'll take it easy. Unless the Dominator is heading out of town. Yeah. <laughs> can you drop me off? At the... <laughs> we'll we'll uh, drop you off. Lock the door. <laughs>
Hell yeah. <laughs> going along for the ride. Hell no, nah, man. But no, nah, uh, hey, if y'all enjoyed the video and the information that was uh, given in this one, which is pretty interesting at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. All jokes aside, run up the likes, subscribe. I want to check out some more uh, videos relating to us, like tornadoes and stuff like that, or weather, crazy weather. Let us know. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, they do have more clips where they show us the actual more of the actual footage i know he was giving bits and pieces of it but more of the footage to see what it looks like to actually be inside yeah of a tornado um but keep on running up the likes subscribe For sure. always spread love be love be safe out there be careful catch y'all in the next one peace out peace this bitch is from houston if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me